Flow Plant Operator Interview Questions and Answers Welcome to our video on RO, Reverse Osmosis, Plant Operator Interview Questions and Answers, if you're aspiring to become an RO plant operator or have an upcoming interview in the water treatment industry, you've come to the right place. We'll cover some common questions and provide simple explanations to help you succeed. Question number one, what is reverse osmosis? Answer, reverse osmosis is a water purification process that filters out impurities and contaminants by applying pressure to PUSH water through a semi-permeable membrane. This membrane allows only pure water molecules to pass through, leaving behind impurities. Question number two, what are the key responsibilities of an RO plant operator? Answer, as an RO plant operator, your main responsibilities involve monitoring and controlling the RO system, ensuring proper water treatment, conducting regular maintenance, and troubleshooting any issues that may arise. Question number three, how do you ensure the RO system operates efficiently? Answer, to ensure efficiency, an RO plant operator regularly checks and adjusts the system parameters, like pressure, flow rate, and chemical dosing. They also inspect the membranes for fouling and clean them when necessary. Question number four, what safety measures should an RO plant operator follow? Answer, safety is crucial in any water treatment plant. Operators must wear appropriate protective gear. Follow standard operating procedures, and be aware of emergency shutdown procedures to protect themselves and the environment. Question number five, how do you handle equipment maintenance? Answer, an RO plant operator conducts regular maintenance, including cleaning filters, replacing damaged parts, and calibrating instruments. Keeping an equipment log helps track maintenance activities and ensures the system smooth functioning. Question 6. What challenges may you face as an RO plant operator, and how do you overcome them? Answer. Challenges can include water quality variations, membrane fouling, and system malfunctions. Operators overcome them by closely monitoring the system, adjusting parameters, and seeking technical support when needed. Question number 7. What are the different stages of the RO process? Answer, the RO process consists of three main stages, pretreatment, membrane separation, and post-treatment. Pretreatment involves removing large particles and contaminants. Membrane separation filters out dissolved impurities, and post-treatment further enhances water quality before distribution. Question number 8. What are some common water quality parameters you monitor? Answer. RO plant operators monitor parameters like pH levels, total dissolved solids, TDS, turbidity, chlorine levels, and temperature to ensure water quality meets required standards. Question number 9. Explain the term rejection rate in RO. Answer. The rejection rate in RO refers to the percentage of contaminants removed by the membrane. It indicates how effectively the RO system is purifying water. Question number 10. How do you handle a drop in water production? Answer. If water production drops, an RO plant operator checks for potential issues like clogged filters, damaged membranes, or insufficient pressure. They troubleshoot the problem and take corrective actions to restore production. Question number 11. Describe the importance of backwashing in the RO process. Answer, backwashing is essential to clean and remove accumulated particles from the pretreatment filters. It ensures optimal flow and prevents clogging, maintaining the efficiency of the RO system. Question number 12. How do you maintain water quality during storage and distribution? Answer, to maintain water quality during storage and distribution. An RO plant operator ensures that storage tanks and distribution pipes are regularly cleaned and disinfected. Monitoring chlorine levels and maintaining proper pressure are also crucial. Question number 13. What measures do you take to conserve water in the RO process? Answer. Water conservation is important, and an RO plant operator may implement measures like water recycling, using reject water for non-potable purposes, and optimizing system parameters to minimize waste. Question number 14, 
How do you handle emergency situations? Such as power outages? Answer. During power outages, an RO plant operator follows the established shutdown procedures to protect the system. Once power is restored, they gradually restart the system to avoid damage. Question number 15. What certifications or training do you have related to water treatment? Answer. An RO plant operator may hold certifications such as WSO, Water System Operator, WTP, Water Treatment Plant Operator, or specialized training in RO system operation and maintenance. Thank you for watching our RO plant operator interview questions and tips video. We hope this has been helpful in preparing you for your interview.